Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Tori's Crack and my name is Tori. So, let's get into this beauty right here. I've already pre-opened it because I can't really stand the crinkle of plastic that much. Okay. Alright. So I bought these paintings off of AliExpress, um, and both of these actually came from the Hurricane Official Store, and I really love buying them from Hurricane, um, one because of the tri kits, I really do like getting these white ones a lot better than the Gomilo books that we used to get um, all the time. So. And like I said, I pre-opened this up already just to basically get everything um, set up. So, uh, there's that. I'm trying to keep the pictures out of the way because I don't want y'all to see yet. <laughs> Alright. So, I bought two paintings the same day. Um, I purchased them on the 13th. They didn't get delivered until the 24th of March. And I just got them today, which is the 1st of April. Um, so I got them both from the same store. I didn't really think they were from the same store, but they were. Um, I spent... $17.56 on both of these. Um, that was after having a dollar coupon. Or two dollars. A two dollar coupon. So the first one we'll do is the Lady in the Mask. Let's see if I can get you. Open close, come on. My camera will focus. But it's a lady in a mask. I have a better picture of her. So, this is who I, you know, that's what she looks like. Um, this one is off of their actual website. So, and she is this one. Alright, so I call her lady in a mask because it's more of a type of thing and she's a 45 by 60. Um, I do big, 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 big pictures. I love to do big pictures. So let's just peel this back a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can't see this yet. Oh, why did I do that? Just peel that back. The canvas is always really sticky. Um, who can I buy from a lot? Uh, just because of the quality. I don't have a lot of negative things to say about them. Now granted, I might have a few diamonds here or there that look crappy, but um, so far, I'm not seeing an issue whatsoever with this painting. Now the one thing I kind of know that's off. Oh. Yeah, that's overlapping that. Okay, you go that way. Uh, the one thing that I kind of don't like on um, this is basically I have so many panels. 
Right. So, oh, you can't see. I have these two, and then I'll make four. And this little guy here will make five panels. Yeah, that's actually, that glue's coming up. What? Seriously? The drill field is pretty good from what I can tell. Uh, I won't be working on her anytime soon, though I will eventually be working on her. Because um, I've got some other projects I want to do first. I can't reach all the way over there. Come on. Um, I've got some other projects I want to do first, and I'm actually trying to finish up one project right now. Um, I ran out of diamonds on this project, so I had to go buy some more. See here, I, I will have gaps. I always have gaps and overage, and like right here, I can just do this. So, I mean, there will be gaps, but not too bad of gaps. So, yeah. But, I mean, personally, I will always buy from her again. And this is actually let's say my first actually when I do her this little thing will be the first time ever I have one. It was really cute. I saw it on a review I'm like oh that's new and sure enough I have it on another canvas that I haven't started working on yet. And it's really, really cute. I really like it. So, okay. eventually I will get better at this stuff. But for now, we're just trying to flatten them out. Um, I have no problem with exposing my canvas because I know when I get around to it, the canvas will be still um, sticky enough for the diamonds. Plus, I also have glue. Um, I actually ran into that <laughs> issue one time. It was with uh, one of my bigger ones, uh, 70 by 70. And, oh, glue's going off on that one. Um, it was before I actually got this table here off of. Um, uh, uh, Amazon. Uh, I had a bigger white one in just one second. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. I um, one of my I have three medical media brothers and one third of the pumps was going off, so I went to go take care of that. But camera I did the rest of this drain out here and since who can the only thing that I can say bad way about who can is they don't give you an inventory sheet and you solely have to go by what this here says um so but let's just check to make sure I have all these diamonds um I'm just going to check in the DMC and let's see Oh, I hit plastic. That's the only thing that I actually really hate. Um, I'm going to say the only. 
Another, another song I hate. But let's see. There's one, three, and two. And I love how the diamonds come into like the Ziploc bags. I love this. So that's why I constantly will buy from Hurricane. Just because the little baggies that they put the diamonds in. Even though I have a stack of them. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is I have a 70 by 70 canvas on a different table than this one. Um, I don't think I had that one before. Anyway, um, it was on one of those Chico white thing, uh, white tables that you can buy from Walmart. And <laughs> 70 by 70s do not fit on them, by the way. So, and I would have it, and the canvas would be over this way, folded up like this, and I'd be pushing on it to do my noodles. So my t-shirt would be on there and it actually ruined a section on there, but oh, okay. I was able to use my Mod Podge, no, Mod Podge and fix it. That's been on side of it. Oh, sticked on side of this. So I was able to fix it and still get the diamonds down. Um, I just glued them down, so that's not an issue. I have plenty of Mod Podge to spare, and so yeah. Oh, there's gonna be different colors, and it's gonna be colorful. Okay, so I already know we have 150. I have not. Received 150 before, I don't think. No. So 150 is a new one for me. It's a pretty color, isn't it? Oh. Is that a pretty color? Like a. Camera doesn't do it justice, but. It's like a bright red. Um. So yeah. I got that into, I mean this is going to be quick, I'm just going to look for the numbers because I have 40 colors in this one, so just look for the numbers and you should be good to go, three, four, and five, I saw six, six was over this way, that's eight. I'm kind of tired too. So, they will just go back into this temporary plastic stuff. There's eight. That's nine. There's seven. Six. So, we've got seven and six and nine. Way too many nine, nine thirty nines. Too much nine thirty nines for sure. Um, there's ten. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Eleven. I promise I'll get better at this eventually. Way better. So I got 18. There's 19. And the 20 is right here. 12. So 10 through 12. Um, 13 through 16. Then I have 18 through 20. Oh, and I actually make it 17 through 20. And that's actually a really bright, bright red. That's beautiful. 
this is going to be beautiful. So, what do I have left? But yeah, I'm going to get better at this eventually. Um, I know some people do their inventory off screen. Um, y'all can skip ahead if you need to. But until I get a better setup and better quality of things, yep, you're going to sit through this. So, uh, 26. Plus, I'm also super tired, so I'm just trying to get these in and out. And so, yeah. I saw this. Alright. So, 21 to 30. And I won't know until. Oh, 29. I got one. I won't know until I actually start doing this painting if I have enough diamonds or not. So, that will be a return. I like got a bigger video on it or something, I don't know. I mean, I'm, like I said, I watch a lot of other people do their unboxings. Okay, so, 31 through 40. So, um, yeah. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Ugh. And this is all I'll do. Put it back in there. Put that there. Grab my picture. Put it on top of there. Where is my tape? Grab my tape. And take the picture. Onto there. So this way I know this bag of beads is for this pen. I have also done it for my other painting that I have. Um, I actually started doing it on this painting. My exacto knife. I have this girl that I'm also going to be working on. Um, I call her Sexy Ariel. Because, come on, you yeah, ain't going to put this up in the kitchen. For sure. Put that back in there, and all that wants to go everywhere. Right. <sighs> and now I am not going to measure anything because the bigger the diamond holes are, the actually more quality you get, and I really. I don't have a dim to where I can just sit there and measure. So, this is a 45 by 60. It is not the biggest painting I've ever done. I've done a 70 by 70, which is the biggest. But with who can, a 45 by 60 is actually really typically good. So, um, the quality of the product right now, just unlock, um, unpacking it, looks good. I have all the colors. I don't know if I'm going to have any missing colors. Um, I don't talk. I, I never had to contact them before in the past about a damaged canvas or anything like that. Now, there is, like in between here I don't want to get dirt on the exposed canvas but um if I really really look if I want to look for anything that would be considered poor quality or me being picky would be in between these two papers you can see a line going straight up. And that's just basically how the glue is. Um, so that's, like, if I was to be picky, that's the only thing I would be picky about. Because the drill field is awesome. Um, it is actually pretty good. 
Now I would have to make a canvas, uh, not make, but scan this so I can have my color list, which can also go with my, um, my beads or my diamonds. So yeah, this is a pretty good picture and it will be, um, laying down I think. So if you were to do the diamonds uh, once you're finished with this, if you go from this one up here would be the top, like all the way up here is the top. Down here is the bottom. So come up from here all the way down and you hung it up like that. So I don't typically well, I'm storing my diamond uh, paintings for the next project. Um, I just leave them flat. So, until I get to her. So, yeah. Um, she is pretty good deal. She is a full. She is a square. Um, now, I bought her for about $17.56. I had a dollar off coupon. Uh, shipping was free. Um, my estimate delivery time was March 25th to April 2nd. Um, like I said, if I pull up the website here, give me one second. Um, have to order. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I'm working. I like to talk to myself too, so this works out. Okay. Um, they shipped this one, oh, both of these off on March 24th, which was a day before it was supposed to estimately arrive to me. But, um, so March 24th, they shipped it out. I purchased it on March 13th. I, it arrived today, which is April Fool's Day, the first. Um, but yeah, I would probably, since it is a square, um, and has a full coverage one, I would probably put this more towards like an intermediate to an advanced painting, uh, just because squares you have to, you have to be very, very picky on how you do the squares. Um, nine times out of ten, if there's color blocking, checkerboard it. But yeah, um, I would say the lady mask is in between an intimate to an advance. Um, as far as if I'm going to sell it, keep it, or give it, to, give it to somebody at this point in time, it just depends. I might uh, buy another one and then sell it. Um, but framing it, eh, I don't know. Over our impressions on this unboxing, like I said before, this isn't my first time buying from Who Can. Um, Who Can has always impressed me with the packaging, coming in a box, nicely done. Um, so yeah, and the full kits is going to be your standard drill and pin. So I got my drill. It's actually a white sparkly one. I have a three placer, which to me is just going to be taken off, put in with my other placers. I don't use them. I got a nice pair of tweezers with the pointy end. So, but I have seen some diamond painters uh, reviews where they actually have the Huacan logo right there and I'm like I have not yet once received it. Um I think this is like a nine placer. I'm not too sure. I don't use these. They are just uh and then I got two deals of wax. One's better than the other one but who cares. Um so two deals of wax which will just go with my others and then I got another boat. And I love these boats because they have the spots. So yay. 
and another bag. Um, which and an empty that bag. So and it's squishy. It's squishy, which you know, on mine. Another one. So I can see what I'm doing. I I have a squishy already that I use quite often. So yeah. But let me put these away real quickly. And squishy. I don't have a squishy in here. I don't think so. No. So, that, that, and the placers can go in there. The wax will come over here. Squishy might be over here too. This squishy there. Okay. Here, nice good and me. So overall impressions with lady the lady mask. Um, I want to give it a solid ten because right now I can't really tell on the diamonds if there's any trash. I mean, I can see some of the diamonds had some miscolored diamonds in there, but. Yeah. Alright, so up next is what I call Fire and Ice Owl. Um, I'll show you the picture. So, this is Fire and Ice Owl. Uh, the reason why I call it Fire and Ice is because one owl is red and one owl is blue, which reminds me of Fire and Ice. Um, so, yeah. It is a 60 by 45. So... It looks like it's going to be about the same size um, as the, no, because it's, yeah, 45 by 60 on that one, except for this one, it says 60 by 45. So, they're the same size. Oh, they're, oh my god. That is a lot of color blocking right there. I that's, oh, that's going to be fun. Now what color is that? Um, da -da -da -da. 9.39. That, like, right through here, all I see is the symbol for 9.39, and that is a lot of color blocking. I was kind of hoping to have a mixture, but it looks like I'm going to have along the edges. But, yeah. yeah, that's ooh wee. Okay, and so right here is a, a part of a blue, the blue owl, or the ice owl, as I call it. Um, and then we have a little red owl right there. Okay, I'm gonna, cause. What I see here is I see all of this basically like not trying to touch it that way. All that's one color. So this painting is going to take a while and it's actually really sticky. I don't like how that is kind of wrinkled. Like this part here is wrinkled and it could have been from the um, plastic that they wrap around it. Um, if you've never bought from Huiquin, Huiquin likes to wrap these up in like, kind of like, um, I don't know what you would name it, um, silicone. I think it's a plastic piece. I don't know. I don't know if it will be silicone. But it'll be something. Um, like I said before, uh, I started this video. Well, actually, when I started this video, I prepped it beforehand. I didn't do all this because I wanted to do all this on camera. And oh, there's a bubble and then glue right there. I can just.
Okay, so here's my ruler. Not as noticeable now. And yeah, okay. Alright, that's an area to watch out for. That's the first time ever that I had to do that. So, and I'm going to give out a shout out to somebody on YouTube that I am recently watching her. Um, her name is Brandy. She, the, uh, her channel is The Abstract Crafter, I think. I've been watching her videos and she actually has like this, I don't know exactly what you would call it, but like a, it's a foam bird or something. Um, binder thing, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I actually was re watching a video recently. Oh, look at that owl. That owl's going to look beautiful and stunning. And of course, you guys can't see it. But um, from here, I can clearly see the owl. But anyway, she has like this little thing on hers um, that she would go and basically run along the pieces because some of the glue was coming up on some of the canvases. Or she I know one video that I watched. She got a really crappy canvas. Because you have these papers, but the glue itself was like on top of the other paper that was placed down. <laughs> So, but yeah, but yeah, thanks Brandy for that nice idea because I, this is my first canvas ever to have a bubble in the, the, um, well no, not my first canvas ever to have a, a bubble in the canvas, uh, in the sticky area, uh, I lie on that one. This is my first Hulu can canvas that had a bubble and a sticky part of this. Um, so yeah, okay. Now it's all done. I have a few areas that are exposed, but me, not too worried about it. Um, this has 45 colors. And from the looks of it, where's my... I know I have to be 10, and that's not a lot. 820. I have like 10,000 of 820. Um, 16,000 of 939. Which, oh my god. And some of these other ones are like splash. I splash here and splash there. I've like got some of these are under 10. Um, some of them are under 100. Under 300. I mean, the biggest ones will be the 820 and the 939. Those are my biggest ones. So with that being said, I'm thinking on my 939, let's see if I can show you a bag here. This one actually goes with this one. So I have her. Um, she's a Libra. I'm a Libra. But that here is all three tins. So I'm thinking, since this is, has about 14,000, roughly 15, I'm thinking that they're going to come in these big bags. Which is, which is awesome because, you know, hey, you never know. So I have one through 45. Mm. I don't like this sound. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I skipped. <coughs> okay. So I'm finally looking. Um, obviously, there's too many 939s in this bag. Because that should not look like that. Ugh. So I already had a, a bead escape, and I don't know what color it is. I probably will have... I don't know why this is taped up like this. Um, maybe because the bag was ripping and... Hey, I don't like that so far. Uh, okay, who can, um, I know you guys can do a lot better than that. I know y'all can do a lot better. Because, I mean, come on. Okay, so, so far, I knew it was going to be big or bad, but what I don't like about this bag is because it has these little tape pieces on them, as you guys can see, when it should just have that one. Um, that's what I don't like so far. So, I think when the got new some you can come. Normally I don't have a lot of issues. So I'm kind of surprised right now on how much on that. So, and the only reason why I'm not dumping this out is because this bag was opened, like full on opened. So I'm not going to dump it out because I might have some diamonds in here that I'll have to get in. Yeah. But, I mean, so far the colors look beautiful. Oh. And see, the Pelican, I don't know if this wrote, uh, that row will be there, look, look up, but there's like two in there that are like light blue against a reddish brownish. So yeah. Don't really tickly like that. Yeah. I have plenty of white. I know that. Well, I have other paintings that I'm you know, about to work on. And yeah. So, you know, I really should also get me kind of organized-ish, since I'm sitting here pulling them out of the bag for all the time. So, 35, 36, 34, 142, here's 11, I thought I pulled out 11 already. Did I not? No, doesn't look like it. Um, nine. That goes to six. Twenty-five. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. So yeah, but you know, kind of surprised so far on that. But I mean. They have a range of colors, from what I can tell. Um, not like typical diamond painting would have more than these colors, but some of these I don't have yet. <coughs> which I'm happy about. So, I know I had an 18. Well, of course I have an 18, but 
Did I pull out the 19? Yes, I did. And I mean, some of this is probably off camera anyway, because I'm not. I'm doing this off my computer, and my computer is like that way um, behind me. So I can't really tell if I'm in camera or not camera. I did try to do a setup beforehand to make sure that this stuff was going to be in good range. So this way I wouldn't have to fiddle around with that. Um, but hopefully you guys can see this. Hopefully. I and again, I'm, you're probably like skipping over this anyway. No, I do see a little trash in here, but yeah, that's fine. I'm not too picky on it. I'm picky on how the bags are. That's the only thing I'm picking on. As far as the bags are concerned, I'm not that pretty particular on most of my stuff. You know, I have not come across yet a worn anything else. So, because I got. 4 through 13 there, and I have 14 in my hand. There's a 3. A 15. There's a 16. There's the 1. And 20. And 21. Okay. So, let's see how much How about like one two beads escaped? That's not too bad. But yeah. Okay, I think I see why they tape this on to the plastic for some reason. They tape that on there. I don't know why. I guess they wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be lost. Okay, so I already know I have 1 through 13 here. And this is going to be 14 through 17 there. Um, there's 18 and 19. And 21, no, 20 to 22. 23 through to 24. 25 is going to be this big 820 bag. And 26 through 29. Those are some pretty colors. Just saying. Like, they are pretty colors. Um, here is 30. Oh, 30 is here. Very vibrant. They don't have so much fun with this one. And the last uh, six colors. I want to say six because we're finding 40. So 40 through 45. And it's like a lot of blue that we have. I'm thinking this would be like the beak area type of deal. And we have white. So yeah. Not too bad. Um, trying to figure out which side. So I'm thinking what happened was they put it down here. Because you can see somebody was trying to take it off here. They put it down and taped it. <coughs> Which, you know, nah, I don't really like that, but and then they threw it in. Or they taped it and I just tore it off. I don't know. Don't really necessarily like that really much. 
So I'm going to put my bigger bag in here and have some meat. And then throw in all my little ones. Let's see, see, that's a big bag. I don't have that toy yet. I really don't. That's $9.95. And that color, oh my god. Is it picking up for all on my camera? No, it's not. This is a really, really nice bluish color. See if I get closer to focus. Well, this is a red pen anyway. But that is a really nice, pretty blue. Really, really pretty. I love it. See right there. But I mean, there's there's so many beautiful colors in here. So many. Okay. Let me get this all out of the way. Some of these colors I don't have. Some of these colors I do have. I'm gonna be thrilled, no matter what. I'm really psyched that I have. Um, one fifty. Just one second while I can pull this past And paper. Tape. Bam. Okay. So I have way too much stuff on the top one. That one will go on the bottom one. And then their tool kit again. This one, I'm not really going to be using it all that much because I have mine that I like to use. So nice little tweezers. Still don't have their hurricane thing on there, which sucks. There, take that off. You never know when you need an extra spongy. So, and eh, do I want to keep this bag in there because it's all jacked up? So, okay. Let's break the wax up. Nice and clear wax. Uh, oh, yeah. And that's going over there. And that's going over here. Okay, so with fire and ice, the owls. I'll have to find that here in a second. Um, it is a square, it is a full. I will also make this into an in between an intermediate to an advanced. Just because of the squareness and the coverage. Um, again, I had the same, I bought it the same day. Uh, March 13th, it, deliver, uh, it was shipped out March 24th and arrived today at April 1st. So, same thing. Quality of the product, uh, I'm going to have to tell, say, Due to that one little bubble was not what I was expecting from them. I usually expect a higher quality than that. Um, but I mean, me don't know if I have any missing parts yet due to the fact that I haven't done it. Um, but yeah, so far I want to say this order. I mean, one, the box came just like this, which I'm not going to say, you know, eh. I'm not going to say that they could do better, because, I mean, this is purely shipping right here, so, purely, probably shipping. Now, I wouldn't say this is part of shipping, because it's going on both sides. I would say that's probably their fault on those ends. Um, but, eh, the box is real sturdy. 
it fit both of the diamond hangs, which is good. Um, that's less plastic I have, well, less things I have to deal with. Um, well, they, one was shorter than the other one, which I want to say this one here, this particular piece was with the firing eyes out, which caused the wrinkling on the edge of the canvases. Well, the edge of the canvas itself, because they didn't have that plastic around it. But other than that, the product overall were good. So, with this one, I want to say, for my experience, even though this is not the first time I'm buying from them, I have bought from them before, and I will continue to buy from them. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit pick. I'm gonna be more picky with them than I would be with anybody else. And I want to say, since everything was there, everything was good and clear, and the quality of it, minus a few little issues with the fire and owl, uh, fire and ice owl one, they they did a pretty good job. So overall, for this, I want to say. I'll give them a 9.5 out of 10 for this quarter. Yeah, 9.5. They, they could do a lot better, and they've done a lot better, in my opinion, um, in the past. Especially with my Libra. My Libra, I have no issues, but I haven't worked on her yet either. So, with that being said, thank you for coming to Tori's Craft. And again, my name is Tori, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.